What is going on guys? Nick here with another video and well today I'm getting ready for Canada as some of you may have known or noticed or whatever if you've watched some of my videos over the past few weeks I am moving to Canada and I leave in ooh, about two weeks and it's kind of got me thinking a little bit about my favorite YouTuber Peter McKinnon who also lives in Canada and subsequently is one of the reasons why I sort of chose Canada to move to kind of about how he vlogs because I have been thinking long and hard about that about some of the methods he uses and how I could implement them myself and I kind of want to talk about that in this video of sort of like how to vlog like Peter McKinnon and we'll get you know more in depth into that in a little bit but first I need to go find my suitcase because I need to start packing so it's really hot here at the moment in Australia I think it's like it's like 35 degrees at the moment this is ridiculous so oh, let's find this suitcase So how many of you guys out there have like a massive garage that just has like, ooh, look at all that stuff. Like, woohoo. There is so much stuff in this garage and it's dusty and hot because of the steel roof and we've got to find that suitcase. And then, and then onto the tips about vlogging like Peter McKinnon. And honestly, I think a lot of you are going to find these tips really helpful. I haven't been able to find a video out there and that's what this one is. So stick around for that. suitcase has gotten dirty over time all right so vlogging like Peter McKinnon now you know we all know his style you know he's very energetic very go-getter puts a lot of b-roll in it and basically I would classify his style as refined and he's very cinematic right and that's just because of his background but something I've been always curious about is how he vlogs because if you don't know he uses a 1dx mark 2 and that along with Pretty much every camera coming out at the moment, it doesn't have a flip out screen, which means you can't monitor yourself, which, you know, if you've got wide enough angle lens, that's not a problem. But what is a problem is exposure levels. Now, uh, you know, there are different ways you can vlog and I was always curious, how do people vlog, especially him, without monitoring exposure levels in any way, shape or form? Now, Peter McKinnon, he is a gun. So he, I'm assuming he just goes full manual on the fly and you know, ND filters and all that and he just nails it that way. But for someone starting out such as myself and probably a lot of you out there, that, that's really intimidating. And, and if you don't have the time to master shots and all that sort of stuff, look, you end up with a lot of ruined shots. I went to Sydney recently, you might've seen that vlog. I'll pop that up there. I got a lot of overexposed shots and that's because I couldn't monitor the exposure and we didn't always have a lot of time to get the shot. All right, so suitcase is looking much, much better. So, like I said, I wanna, this ain't working, let's just talk for a bit. All right, so I wanted to look into it. So I got the Sony a7 III, a lot of you might know that already, and a lot of people out there are picking this camera up. It, it's an absolute banger for the price. So I've been looking into, you know, vlogging and all that sort of stuff, and the easiest way to do it, and I think I've come up with the solution, and that is to shoot in, wait for it, you good? All right, shut up priority mode. Now, before all the keyboard warriors out there going, that's not manual, you know, that means you're not good enough if you don't shoot manual. Go to bed. We have a camera with a lot of modern features. We need to utilize it. Technology is there to make our lives easier. If you aren't up to the scratch like myself, manually adjusting your exposure on the fly without any indication. What's up? Hey, if you're like me and you can't, you know, do that's very hard to you know, manage your exposure if you can't see everything. It just takes a lot of extra time. So why not utilize the features in the camera to make your life easier? 
When you shoot in shutter priority mode, it is just gonna maintain your shutter speed, nothing else, unless you know set a manual ISO. What this means is your camera is going to adjust the aperture and the ISO, if you let it, for light compensation to get a nice even exposure. This is great when vlogging. So all you really need to do, if you've got like a Sony a7 III or say like a Fuji X-T2, X-T3, you know, one of these new mirrorless cameras without a flippy screen, I think shooting in shutter priority mode is the way to go. Think about it this way, right? You chuck a wide angle lens on your camera, whether that's a 16 to 35, a 24 mil, I got the camera on 28 to 75, which is, you know, just wide enough. You don't have to worry about framing. Why? Well, you've got a wide angle lens. You're always going to be in the frame, one would hope. Sometimes you might get it a little bit wrong, but I tell you what, odd framing is much easier to fix than a really overexposed shot. So personally, I like to manually adjust my ISO because I don't want my camera bumping it way up because then you know you get issues with noise and all that sort of stuff. So I sort of set my ISO around 400, 500. Depending on the scene right now, it's set to 800 just to get me a little bit more brightness. But the aperture, I just let the camera pick the best aperture. And when filming, you don't really notice it, especially when you're vlogging. If you want to do your B-roll shots, that's fine. You could, you're behind the camera for that sort of stuff. You can do that in manual. But when you're filming yourself, shutter priority is the way to go. Now, is this how Peter McKinnon vlogs? I don't know. You know, someone ask him. He doesn't really go through his settings. For the majority of us out there, it, it has to be the way to go. And I mean, I shot this entire video in shutter priority, except for the uh, 120 frame per second shots that you saw. You let me know, all right? I honestly think it is a really smart way to utilize the features in the camera to get a great shot. And I just think it's a better way to vlog. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about using shutter priority? And I don't wanna hear the comments of, oh, you're not a professional if you don't use manual. Professionals utilize the features in their devices to get the best possible image. Da, da, da. It's yeah, anyway guys, I gotta I gotta go pack this bad boy up. So I'll leave you guys to it and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.